In 1949, a six-year-old Bobby and his sister Joan learn how to play chess, using the instructions from a set bought at the sweet shop. A month later, Bobby saw his first chess book, and for over a year Bobby played and studied chess by himself. Bobby Fisher was born in Chicago and Brooklyn bred. He was the United States' first world chess champion and is still regarded as the greatest natural talent that chess has ever seen. At 14 years old, he became the US chess champion for the first time as the youngest player ever with a score of 10.5 out of 13. It was a very strong tournament with several masters competing, most notably Ryshevsky, Benko and Evans. Mikhail Tal was hospitalised during the 1962 Curacao Candidates Tournament. According to Benko, Fischer was the only tournament participant who visited him in hospital. When Fischer wrote an article for Sports Illustrated later that year titled How the Russians Fix World Chess, only Tal was exonerated. At 20 years old, Bobby Fischer won the US Chess Championships with 11 points out of 11, the only player ever to accomplish this task. Fischer annihilated the competition, featuring some very strong grandmasters including Larry Evans and Samuel Ryshevsky. Fischer played Spassky in the World Title Championship match in Reykjavik, Iceland, a neutral ground with neither Soviet or American influence. Fischer won convincingly with a score of 12.5 to 8.5. The match nearly didn't happen as Fischer issued a series of last minute demands from New York. These included 30% of TV and film rights and 30% of gauge receipts. The match was delayed while the Fischer was negotiated. Spassky stayed in Iceland waiting. Following Fischer's victory, he was eventually stripped of the title of world champion after failing to agree on terms when facing challenger Anatoly Karpov, who was awarded the title by forfeit. Karpov reigned as world chess champion until 1985 when he was defeated by Garry Kasparov. At the age of 38, Bobby Fischer was arrested on suspicion of bank robbery. After being arrested as a suspect in a bank robbery, he wrote and published a book called I Was Tortured in a Pasadena Jailhouse. This book or pamphlet was self-published by Fisher and is about receiving brutal treatment at the hands of the Pasadena police. The book itself is now very rare and sought after. In 1992, a rematch was played between former world chess champions Boris Spassky and Bobby Fischer. It was billed as a world chess championship, but it was unofficial. Fischer fell foul of US authorities by playing the rematch in Yugoslavia. In 1992, Yugoslavia was subject to economic sanctions. Fischer's warrant was due to the fact he played the match in Yugoslavia. The US State Department did not allow Americans to travel there. Fischer's warrant was in relation to violating the travel ban. Fischer responded to a US government letter by spitting on it at a press conference. Fischer was granted Icelandic citizenship in 2005 after spending eight months in detention in Japan fighting a US extradition request. In 